Good morning, today is the 2nd of May, and we continue our meditation during this time of quarantine. And I would like to read in 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9. For the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, Jesus will tell us three parables. The first one being the, the parable of the lost sheep. Uh, the second one is the parable of the lost coin. And then the third one is the parable of the prodigal son. Why did Jesus tell these three parables? It was actually uh, to answer this uh, religious man who came to him and said, Why are you talking to sinners? Because Jesus was talking to tax collectors. And the text says that he was talking to tax collectors and other sinners. Because to, to, to all those religious people, tax collectors were sinners, but then there, are, there were other ones. And they, they were not included in there, of course, in those other sinners. Though they were sinners themselves, because we are all sinners before God. And then Jesus is tell, try to, to tell, to convince these people that he's concerned about every person. The son who decides to go his own way, to take his uh, inheritance and to live the life the way he, 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 he thought uh, better for him. The father is concerned about the son, the younger one. He's concerned about the one who stayed home, and he's concerned about the one who left. We see that Jesus is always concerned about people, even when it's just one person, a woman at a well, this lady who is going to be stoned, these little children, you and I. He's always concerned about us. And in the text we read in the Old Testament, uh, it's, uh, the prophet is telling uh, a king of Judah, that the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth, looking for someone to strength. But in order for grace to strengthen us, we have to trust in God. What happened to that king was that he put his trust in other people. He put his trust in another king, in a pagan king, instead of trusting God. All the time he trusted God, God gave him his deliverance. God's promise was with all those kings of, of Judah and Israel. And every time one of them put their trust in God, God act, acted in their favor. That's what grace does to us. Jesus comes and knocks at our door. His eyes range throughout the earth. But only those who put their trust in him will be blessed. Really. The, the word to, to believe is actually to accept, to trust, to receive. What happened to the king in the Old Testament is that uh, the prophet told him, because you put your trust in men and not in God, you are going to live the whole of the rest of your life at war. And I believe, I think that that's what happens to us when you put our trust in other things and not in God's grace. We are going to live a life of war. We are always going to be at war, struggling, struggling to come out of the, the, the hole where we fell as a lost sheep, struggling to come out of the life we had in the world to come back to the Father's arms because we didn't put our trust in grace. It, it might be because it sounds too easy for us and we get more glory, our own glory, if we trust in our, in, on our own strength. But at the end of the day, we, re, we realize that life is going to be a war.